number four for us to build a spin drift. And um, I think I've mentioned it before, but I really enjoy building this boat. And uh, for me, it's the first time to build a boat ever. Also, I've never worked with the epoxy or wooden plywood before. So um, I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I believe that anyone can build this boat. With the drawings of B&B, &B, the drawings are okay and the steps are clear, so uh, it's very easy. Um, normally I am an engineer and I build uh, technical systems with a, with a CAD program on my computer. So I really like to work with my hands for once. So um, this morning uh, the LED light came in and I installed it and I hope that the light will be better uh, in the next videos. Uh, for now, i like to show you the status. Uh, we unfolded the boat and we stitched it. And I came up with some, uh, some problems that I have to solve. And I really uh, want to show you uh, the problems uh, that occurred. And um, so you can learn from, from it as well. So let's go. Yesterday, we've unfolded the panels and using the tie wraps, and my first mistake was to use um, a small tie wrap. As you can see, it's a very thin, and uh, when I've tried to, to connect the bow, uh, every time the, the, the small tie wrap uh, broke, and now I used a thicker tie wrap, and it went, uh, went, uh, went very well. Um, I still believe that uh, using a tie wrap to, to stitch the boat uh, this, uh, is a good solution. I think more easy than uh, using a steel wire. My next mistake was to uh, to not corner the plywood. You should grind the plywood a little bit, so uh, it will not stay straight, but goes in the corner, so you it it match correctly. Um, otherwise, the uh, plywood will shove to the to the left or right because it cannot connect uh, properly, and it looks better. So we can now use the epoxy to fill to fill the uh, the bow. So, and you should uh, uh, grind the corner uh, completely to, to the end. Actually, every corner that should connect should be grind, uh, grinded a little bit. The next problem that I um, have is, um, is the bulkhead. The bulkhead, the front bulkhead is not connecting to the, to the bottom plates and the, the side as well. So I have to, um, to get a larger bulkhead. Um, I use a, a lot of force to, to get the bottom plate connected to the bulkhead. And the force is needed to get the, the bottom plate into shape. And I've used a, a, lot, of, a lot of force, uh, but it's not going any, any further. And I think that the space between the bow and the, the bulkhead in the front is not enough to get the wood into shape. So I will draw the, the bulkhead um, to this point. So I have to use a little force to get the, the bottom plate. Um, so I, you will uh, get the right shape of the bow uh, itself. So a little force is, is needed, but it cannot go any further like this. After unfolding the, the panels, we have some, some gaps because of the hand saw panels. It's, it's a bit wobbly and yeah, you can see here it's connected and here it's connected. But uh, we have some space uh, over there, but we will fill this with uh, thickened epoxy. I think that is, uh, that's okay. I've screwed in the transom and the screw on the side and two at the bottom here and as you can see there is a gap and um, the transom is sticking outside and you have to push the transom inside um, I think it's okay because um, if you don't maybe you have a hollow transom and a hollow transom uh, will look awkward so I have to find a solution to get this fixed and then fill with epoxy and glass tape. But we will manage, I think. The gap is here as well. It's here, it's more force, so it's, it's already stuck, so 
that's okay. I only have to fit in this with epoxy and then with a glass tape. I also have here a corner. Uh, the transom is sticking out because of the uh, of the angle. Um, this I want to solve as well. And uh, as you can see, I've used a complete inner side of the transom. The BNB drawing says that you have to use a pad like this, but I've bought some outboard engine pads, and they were a bit wider. So I've chosen to to make the complete transom inner side. And it looks very nice, I think. I also put the spin drift on the cradles. And as you can see, the hull will follow exactly the line of the cradles. And I've centered the, the boat exactly in the middle. And still we have some twist. And the most easy way to look at the twist is to go at the front. And um, as I lower my camera, you can see the stern of the boat and you can see that the right side will touch the line of the bow sooner than the left side. So if I lower my camera, you can see that the right side is disappearing and the left side is still there. And I've measured the, uh, the bow. And I've measured the stern of the boat, and the stern uh, were both okay, they were the same dimensions. So the left and the right side of the stern uh, were exactly the same. But the bow, exactly at this point, and at that point I had uh, some 1.5 centimeters of difference. So I will raise this side of the cradle with 1.5 centimeters, and it should be okay. I have lowered the front cradle and I thought it was 50 millimeters, but actually it was only five millimeters. And I've measured the left and right side of the, of the bow at the same position. And now um, all the measurements are the same. And if I put my camera at the front of the bow and lower, it, lower the camera, we can see that the stern, the back side of the boat is disappearing, the right side and the left side at the same time. So we don't have any twist anymore. I will try to solve the problem with the gap of the bulkhead, the front bulkhead, to add some extra plywood. Um, I will, I've measured at this point 10 millimeters and at this point 18 millimeters extra. So I will rebuild the arc and cut out a new bulkhead. I put in two nails at the bottom into the transom and this way the gap is filled. I've pushed the transom inside and put in the nails. So now I can, I can fill the, uh, the um, gaps with the uh, epoxy. To install the nesting bulkheads was a bit of a problem because I did not know the measurements but I found the measurements on the drawing and it is almost 75 centimeters from the rear seat to the gap of the bulkheads and I clamped the bulkheads together and between the bulkheads I put in an uh, extra thick tie wrap and um, it is 1.5 millimeters and my handsaw is one millimeter so it should work, I should get my saw in between these bulkheads. So I put this tie wrap that I had uh, between the bulkheads and I screwed it at the bottom as well. So this should be uh, straightened and in line. And let's see how it goes.